I've always been a huge George Strait fan, and apparently so is my friend Kyle Park. He's going to play a song today that he wrote called Fit for a King. We're the songwriters. This is my buddy Kyle Park. We've written a bunch of songs together. We wrote The Night is Young, which was his number one. Yep, that's right. My first one, I think. And we wrote uh, uh, What Goes Around Comes Around. Yep. That was the top ten, I think, right? Yep, that was. We wrote a song about Facebook called Tagged. <laughs> yeah. That one didn't do very good. I didn't make the radio, but it <laughs> didn't make me people's playlists either. But yeah, <laughs> Kyle has uh, Kyle's from Texas. He's from Leander, Texas, mm -hmm. and he has been a full time tour musician since uh, for about thirteen years now, and has the big tour bus and travels the country and has had several hits on the radio here in Texas. And you're one of my favorite songwriters. Thank in you, Texas. Tom. Thank you, you are seriously. And you're uh, at my house while you're saying that. that well, yeah, yeah, true. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's it like being an independent artist in Texas? It's the fact that no one is really in control of what I'm doing except me as far as the songs I record, the venues I play, and, and all that good stuff, the style of music I record. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's also important to just stay true. And I, not that you can't stay true by being something but independent, but it, it, it feels good for it to be all on my shoulders, whether it's you know, success or, or failure. It's, it's on me, and I, I like that yeah. feeling. Now, on uh, of all of your stuff, how much of it have you written yourself? Ninety-five percent, I guess. Yeah. I put out five albums now, and I think I've cut with you know at least ten to fifteen songs per album. I think I've recorded four covers or five covers. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's great. So now, what is your uh, what is your latest record that you got out? Newest one's called "Don't Forget Where You Come From," and it's no doubt my most personal record to date as far as I mean, the songs I wrote are about you know my father, my, my fiance Brandy, my, the, the, the American farmer, the, the rodeo cowboy. It is about you know God and faith and about drinking beer and dancing at the bars. Yeah. You know, it's, it's about all those things in between. It's just country music to a T. All our favorite subjects. Yeah. Well, there's a song of yours that I've always loved because I just think it's so clever. It's called Fit for a King. Yeah. And it's your George Strait tribute. It is. So uh, where did this song come from, and has George heard it? Well, I, I know he's heard it. Not I haven't played it for him, per se, but uh, I do every night. I play it for him yeah. every time, right? Yeah. No, but uh, I, this song came about when I was 19 years old and wrote this song, and, and the idea came about when I heard a Clint Black song that he, it's called Tuckered Out, where he took oh, yeah, a bunch yeah. of artist names. Yeah. I thought, what about instead of artist names, I do song titles. And by the way, if you hear this panting, there's my, my, my lap down here. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. Uh, but anyway, the, the idea is, yes, instead of artist names, do song titles. And at first, it was just a bunch of different artist songs, like Merle and Conway. And I thought it's kind of confusing to know what's going on, because there are so many great one-liners yeah. that are, are songs and aren't songs. Right. So I thought, how about just one artist? And I picked George Strait, of course. He's the guy. And uh, Yeah. So I... All my George Strait CDs, laid them out in the carpet in the old house and just started writing them down one by one so it worked. But yeah. And it turned into a story. It did. It ended up being an actual new song. It, it's not just random lyrics, it is an actual right. story. So. It's pretty much all the titles of George Strait songs made into a story. That's right. Yeah. 31 to be exact. 31. 31 George Strait songs in the song. So. All right, here's Kyle Park That's doing Fit for a King. Here we go. You said go on beyond the blue neon As I'm as gone as a girl can get Out of the blue clear sky you've gotten good and goodbye What do you say to that? If I know me, I'll end up drinking champagne With Fort Worth never crossing my mind when I reach Marina Del Rey, this cowboy's riding away And I'll just take it one night at a time What's going on in your world? Because my world has slipped away I just can't go on dying like this It will always never be the same Did you stop loving me? I didn't come to expect that from you But I cross my heart that I'll love you forever Are the famous last words of a fool Well it was easy come 
mouth easy go Should have blamed it on Mexico I'm feeling pretty down and out Where I've got this 80 proof bottle of tear stopper To make me feel a little unwell You look so good in love And darling, you know it's true You're something special to me I've got this full-hearted memory And I'll always be the man in love with you Thirty-one George Strait song titles in one song. That's pretty amazing work, Kyle Park. If you want to find out more about Kyle, make sure you visit kylepark.com. He travels all over the country, and he's probably coming to a city near you. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, leave me a comment below. What's your favorite George Strait song? Did he leave one out? Hmm, I don't know. He got a lot of them in there. If you want to learn more about songwriting, be sure to visit tomshepard.com. And we will see you next time. We're the song.